In this video, we are going to be diving into more viral TikTok products. <laughs> Is that hurting you? Oh my gosh. Are you supposed to put that much on? So today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be diving into more viral TikTok products. <sighs> TikTok is literally an endless cycle of products. Going viral, being trendy, it's an endless cycle. And it never ends! <clears throat> that was only a tad bit dramatic. I feel like TikTok has like a snowball effect. One person talks about something, it goes extremely viral, then every other person wants to try it. And the snowball just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And then everyone's so excited about this product, I actually don't know if it's even a great product or if we're all just getting excited about it because it's trending. So that is what I'm gonna try to figure out today. Are these products actually worth how viral they are or are they just overhyped? We're gonna figure it out. I am so, so, so excited. I saw this video probably like six months ago and I ordered this custom. <laughs> this was not cheap, but let me just show you the video first. On TikTok, it has 101 million views, but just wait, cause I saw it on YouTube. It had 599 million views on YouTube. Are you okay. ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm supposed to look at three dresses. Yep, I want you to look at three different dresses. Okay, so that was, whoa! So that's That two. was so fast. Okay. Here's the last one. Wait, 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 I didn't see it. I didn't wear it. What about you think this one's good? Where's the other dresses? Get this man an Oscar right now. First of all, great execution. People were kind of pressed in the comments that you could see the blue dress under the silver dress. I think that she did a fabulous job with her quick changing. Did find it, it was not cheap. And it was from the site where they would basically make it to your size because it's very important for these quick change outfits for them to fit you correctly so that when you like flop one down, the dress is underneath. So the final outfit will be the best best fitted and then the top one will be a little bit bigger. And I mean, if you think his reaction was great, just wait until you see my mom's reaction. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is this? Why is there this in here? Okay, we have some Velcro on this red piece of fabric. Oh gosh. Here is this dress. All right, this is the dress from the video, the final dress. This one looks like a figure skating dress almost. And it's got clips on the shoulder. Okay, I'm gonna practice with this for a little bit. Okay, after a closer look at each of the pieces, it looks like the red one is the biggest and it also has these hidden little Velcro pieces. So I feel like that's supposed to somehow connect to the giant pieces of red fabric. The blue dress I feel like is the highest quality. Like the skirt is actually really pretty and flowy. And both the silver dress and the blue dress have pulls on the shoulders that clasp together. So that's definitely how you quick change out of that. And there's nothing really to show on the yellow dress. So I definitely think that's the grand finale. Here's how each of the dresses look on individually with nothing underneath. This is how I figured out what the size differences was, which I think indicates the order. I didn't realize I had that all. <laughs> One eternity later. I am in this dress. Three layers. This is taking so long, but I think I've just figured something out. I'm just gonna feed this big tube through here. Oh my gosh, yes! Cause look at this. When I get to stand in it, goes like go like this. Okay, I'm gonna put on a little show for you guys. This is my practice show. I'm gonna practice it a few times before I show my mom, but you're gonna get the first time, okay? <laughs> someone else holding this for you. Woo! <laughs> What's going on in there? Okay, okay. What, 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 what? Her Madonna moment. We'll see what mom thinks. What am I doing here? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ready? Look at you all sparkled up.
We killed it. We need to try is the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara, aka Lashgate, aka I don't really know what's going on. So I did a little bit of research. I don't know who this person is, but apparently they made a video that was clearly sponsored by L'Oreal trying the mascara and the before, they did not have eyelashes on. As we can probably tell, there are definitely lashes on there. Which this is like something that companies have been doing to us to sell mascaras for so long. But to have a TikToker that you feel like you can trust do it, it stings way more. Honestly, like what if this was all just a marketing scam? Like they got Michaela to wear the fake lashes so that there would be this giant crazy outburst and so much attention on the mascara. So then people like us would buy it and try it just for the hype. And for the moment of truth, here we go. Wow, they actually look gorgeous. Let me add some more. Oh my God, you guys, I went ahead and added another. <laughs> I hadn't watched that video before, so I did not know that was gonna happen, okay. Okay, for this mascara test, I decided I'm gonna put it up against my all-time favorite mascara. I feel like it gives a controlled variable. Okay, I'm just popping in really quick because I know I mentioned that my favorite mascara was this Maybelline one, and I thought Maybelline was cruelty-free, but I'm now learning that they might not be. And if that's true and they're not cruelty-free, I'm gonna try to seek out a new mascara that is cruelty-free. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you have any information on that because I'm seeing different stuff all over the place. Like some websites say they are, some say they're not. It's very confusing. Also didn't put any eyeliner on so that you can really just see the lashes. There's the mascara on. Now, the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift. The mascara that makes your eyes look like it has false lashes on it because it does. Oh, weird. It's actually like flat. I have never seen a mascara one like that. That is so strange. Okay. Oh, okay. It really coated a lot of mascara at the base with that flat piece. Oh, this is interesting. It like takes a second to get used to it. Okay, not that my lashes look beautiful enough that you would assume there was a fake eyelash on it, but just for the sake, because I don't want you to feel like you're being lied to or that there's a possibility, I didn't edit that clip at all. I just time-lapsed it so you can clearly see here is my lashes with the mascara. I thought it did a good job. Like, I think its biggest thing it did is it really volumized at the base of my lashes. I think the Maybelline one on this side did a better job of lengthening, but like, minuscule difference. Like it doesn't look like I'm wearing two different mascaras. I'm gonna wear this all day and see if this one transfers onto my eyelid. So I'll let you guys know up in the corner if it did because that will be a negative on it if it does, but it looks good. There is this blender cup. Now this video has 1700 views, so it's not viral, but I swear this product has been viral. Okay, so it's just a compilation of all the smoothie mixtures and then it blends it. I just find this so hard to believe that this little blender will be able to blend because I have been so picky about my blender. So this is going to be under a lot of scrutiny. Scrutiny. Like, I feel like there's unblended fruit in there. I just wanna try it. Okay, so we have the portable mini juice blender here. On the side here, it says 350 milliliters, fresh help, wireless charging, waterproof, and rechargeable battery. So let's open it up. It looks pretty perfect, honestly. And I did try to match it with my shirt. It's almost a perfect match. So basically, this is the charging stand. It clips onto here. It all seems like pretty good quality in my opinion. So I'm just gonna start charging it. And then we'll plug it in. The charging light is like kind of flickering, but I think it's charging until this light goes off. And then that means it's fully charged. Okay, it's been about an hour and I think we're ready to go. So I think you fill it from the bottom. Mango. Little handful of spinach. Okay, then to top it off, we're just gonna put some oat milk. Okay, we've got our smoothie. I'm gonna put this lid on. Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for, it's a double click on the bottom. I'm scared. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, that actually did not too bad. The only issue is I can feel the chunks still in there. Like it didn't get all the chunks. It's just throwing it around. Okay, and there's our smoothie. Bon appetit. It didn't get it as blended as maybe a normal blender, but it's not bad. I'm just gonna down this really quick and see what's left at the bottom. Mm. <laughs> okay, I was questionable of this. It wasn't like tasting the most flavorful. And sure enough, a bunch of the mango and pineapple chunks did not get blended up. That was pretty much all of the fruit that I put in there. So I basically just downed spinach and oat milk and honestly kind of tasted like that. I decided I'm gonna give this blender off to the professional smoothie maker to see how she likes it. I'm suspicious of that little blade. Me too, yeah. that was my concern. Like look how, it doesn't even stick out really. blended everything. It blended it right down. Like okay, it's... because when I did it, like all the chunks didn't blend. And I noticed the way you loaded it, you had it so that the fruit was on the blend and then the spinach was above it. I think you have to make sure the frozen fruit is on the blade. It's amazing. Do you think you'll use it? A hundred percent. All right, you can have it. <laughs> Okay, so the next viral piece is a swimsuit, but not just a simple swimsuit, a cinchable swimsuit. Check out this video. The first time I saw it, I was a little bit confused because I was like, what, how did it happen? But then I realized they were pulling strings. Now, may I just say, they looked great before, but the after, you can definitely tell the waists are cinched. So this brand is called TA3 Swim, and basically they made a sculpting swimsuit. So how it works is it's crisscrossed on the back and you keep cinching up that crisscross and it hugs your waist in. On face value, I feel like this is a really innovative idea and I feel for people who want a little bit more tummy control, this swimsuit could be like the perfect product. It's also not super affordable, it is $240 Canadian for one swimsuit, so the quality better be fantastic. Okay, the cinching swimsuit. So here's what it's looking like. And then in the back, that's the cinch. You're gonna slip into that and then you're gonna pull these strings. Let's put it on. Okay, here is the swimsuit on. This is like, so far, a very perfect one piece. Like I have no complaints. It's like simple, it's black, it has like some fun detailing. It's got this zipper, which is kind of scandalous. Oh my gosh, no thank you. Loose right now. So basically when I cinch it, I'm gonna pull this all so that it like tightens up here. And in doing that, creating a cinched waist. Ready? Before. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on, let's keep going. I can go even more, hold on. <gasps> okay, it's not nearly as comfortable as it was. Here's after cinching my waist. I definitely think it's cinched in my waist. As for comfortableness, like it's not as extreme as a corset at all, but I think it's as extreme as probably a high impact shapewear. But I am happy to report that it does what it says it was gonna do. I kind of want to cinch my waist again in front of my mom and see what she thinks. Hey, that's not bad. That's nice coverage. Isn't it cute? It's it is cute. Is it what what is it? <laughs> Did you just say someone's vlog along? Yeah, is it? <laughs> Ready? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> is that hurting you? It cinched you right in. Isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh. That is crazy. <laughs> I wonder if I can fit this one. Oh, I don't think so. You go right here. Okay. Look right at the camera. <laughs> Ready for your cinch? Yes, cinch me! Oh my gosh, I can't believe how much it can cinch it. <laughs> I wonder what it's doing for my back! Let me see. I 
tighter pinching me than this. Yeah, you have a better tolerance than me. Yeah. Like, I don't wear <laughs> jeans. But it looked like ni a nice swimsuit on you. I think you should keep it. You have it. You have it. Yeah, it's okay. We'll share it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the last product and the one I am most excited for, this is Combat Gel. I don't know why this slick bun has everybody's attention, but it has mine. It's just so slicked back and it's just so perfect. I literally had to order this on a two month pre-order. That's how popular this is. Like everybody wants to try this gel and see how slicked their hair can get. Because based on these videos, like nothing, would make a flyaway. Like it is cement. So if you wanna see me in a slicked bun, wait one second, cause I'm about to do it. I've been told that gel is the perfect way to fix a greasy hair day. So I went ahead and didn't wash my hair for four days, which I know to some people who don't wash their hair for like two weeks, that's like such a short amount of time. Not for me. For my hair, that's a very long time. And it is very greasy now. Grease tour, grease haul. So. The shot where Ashley like has the gel sitting on their head. I wanna be that right now. Look at this, look at these stickers. These are so cute. I love stickers. You guys know. New stickers just launched on meamaplesmarket.com. Shameless plug. I like this packaging. I'm so excited to smell it. Apparently it's mango scented. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. That smells. Amazing. On the directions, it says apply a small amount according to the length and state of your hair into your palms. But based on the videos on TikTok, I'm supposed to put a ton. So I'm gonna put a ton. She just grabs like a giant scoop and plops it on. I'm scared. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, you know what I feel like right now? What's that movie with the green goo? Is it Floob? Flub? Floop? I think that then I would go like this and put it back in here. Look at this. My hair is never going to pop back up. I couldn't imagine doing this every day. I think my hair would fly off. Okay, I think it's drying. It feels a little sticky still. I'm gonna let it dry for like 10 minutes. It says on the instructions you could blow dry it, but I'm just gonna let it air dry. And then we're gonna whip our head back and forth and really test this thing. Your hair looks cute. It looks cute like that. Oh, wow. That is nice. My hair has a lot of little flyaways. That's want, nice. Want me to slick you back? Yeah, I do. Come on down. Oh my gosh. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Are you supposed to put that much on? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so cool. Ew, it's just so gross looking. Look at us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's been like 30 minutes. My hair is completely dry. Look at those. Wow. <laughs> Let me feel. <laughs> like it literally feels like I'm wearing a helmet. That's amazing stuff. Okay. <laughs> your hair sound like this? I liked it. That was definitely interesting, now wasn't it? What were my favorite products? I think I was definitely most impressed by the swimsuit. I just expected it to not be very good quality and maybe not work. I mean, I honestly was so excited to try the combat gel and it was very interesting. Getting it out of my hair was a battle, but that hair was not moving at all. 
The quick changing outfit. That is like literally my new favorite thing. I will be keeping that. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, make sure to click the subscribe button before you go. As always, thank you all so much for being here. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!